Welcome back folks, my name is Last Snow Meal. So today we have new developments regarding the CDPR cyber attack, including some new articles and thoughts from cybersecurity experts, but I also managed to talk with people who know more about it than I do, so we're going to see the potential damage that was caused to CDPR and what could happen next, so let's get into it. First off, we have an article on IT Pro where MCSoft CTO and MCSoft is like a security company, they deal in ransomware recovery, ransomware protection, etc, etc, so he follows what these groups are doing. So Fabian Vassar on Twitter pretty much confirmed that the group that the researchers named Hello Kitty, so this is not the official name of the group, this is actually just the name researchers gave them and there's actually a very good reason why this name is actually here, we're going to talk about it in a sec. But it seems that this group Hello Kitty has been active since November of 2020 when they tried to hack the Brazilian electric power provider Semig and failed. Now obviously the message that CDPR has received was well done, so it causes confusion. And of course, this was not done by some kid, as some people have been saying. After that, Vassar also mentioned that he wouldn't be surprised if the group who pulled out the attack grew up with Western culture, because it's also missing some usual checks for cis countries, and by that they mean Commonwealth of Independent States. Now for the administration, legal, HR and investor relations, it seems that this info will most likely get leaked according to him. But we also have a very interesting theory that might be true, but again, all of this info regarding Hello Kitty is still a developing story, so anything can happen. Now, the reason why this group is called Hello Kitty is because of the Hello Kitty mutex, and Hello Kitty mutex is basically a lock to a section of the code allowing one thread in and blocking access to all others. And when executed, the mutex terminates 1700 processes, shuts down 57 services and deletes shadow copies via Windows management instrumentation. So there is no denying that the hackers do have info from CDPR, like there is no denying that. I'm sure that everything that CDPR said that they took, they actually did take for themselves. Now also, a couple of days back, we learned that they're going to try and sell that source code um, via the auction. And they said that someone else bought the source code for 7 million. So it wasn't someone from the forum, it was someone else and the auction was closed. And what could be the case here, this is another theory, is that actually no one bought it and they were not able to sell it to anyone. Because keep one thing in mind, a source code is extremely valuable, like a recipe, but at the same time you won't have companies, especially from the West, buying it. So if someone actually bought it, they won't be able to use it because they will be tracked down fast. Or this whole thing could be fake. And by fake I mean the sale has been fake, this doesn't mean they don't have the files, because again, I'm sure they have the files, but they won't have a nice time selling them. So now comes the problem, if no one wants to buy it and it's going to be released, well, technically it's going to be released if they bought it or not. Well, after they sold, they said that they won't be putting it up anymore online. But judging from all of these theories, and especially because these articles, or at least this one is from people who know what they're talking about, I maybe think this is correct. So ultimately, if they cannot sell the files to anyone, and at the same time, if CDPR doesn't want to pay, so what can the hackers do? Well, pretty much leak it, and that's it. So in that case, technically they had one because they got into the system, but the hackers were not able to monetize it and get money from the attack. So automatically, it's a loss for them. But of course, so far, everything is pretty much speculative until we do learn more about everything which is happening. The group has been active for some time, but at the same time, this group is not known so far for successful attacks. It seems that CDPR was that lucky break, but if you cannot ransom a company, then you failed the execution, you failed your project, because you won't get money back or whatever. So, no, this was not uh, anything special, this was just sadly another attack, and CDPR was a very good target in my opinion, because of everything which was happening, their company was in the state of alert. So, 
some things might happen, security flaws happen, and uh, obviously they got in. Next thing which is going to be interesting to see is how they got in, because that's going to tell us a lot about everything which has been used, how they get gained access, it's going to tell us about the security CDPR has, but also it's going to tell us how good this group actually is, but at the same time, I doubt that CDPR is going to say, yeah, they got through this or through that. That info is probably going to be kept a secret, but I am sure that CDPR is going to follow up with a new news or, well, a follow up um, on the previous news. So that's it for today. Tomorrow I will have a Cyberpunk mod video, so stay tuned for that. And that's everything for today. Smash that like and subscribe button because it does help a lot with the algorithm. And thank you again. Also join our growing community on Twitter and Discord. I also do have a Patreon page, if you were looking for an extra way to support the channel, you can do it via the link below, and huge thanks to my current Patreon supporters. This is LKM signing out, and stay classy everyone, bye bye.